This is a Smith & Wesson Mark II simulator. Beside it you can see a bottle of ethanol alcohol standard. In Canada we use simulators of this nature. We also use Guth simulators as well. For purposes of simulating the breath of a human being at whatever number of milligrams per 100 mils. In this particular case we're going to use 100 milligram per 100 mil solution. You can see it comes in a 500 mil bottle, has clearly marked on the bottle what its target value is, in this case 100 milligrams per 100 mils. It has identified on it a particular lot number, a manufacture date, and an expired date. This particular bottle expired on February the 2010, but I'm going to use it for purposes of demonstrating how to change the alcohol standard in a simulator. One of the challenges in changing the solution in, an, in a simulator is, first of all, to make sure that you can get the jar off the metal housing. Sometimes the housing gets stuck to the jar because the gasket on the inside is worn, maybe it's an old simulator, and sometimes as a result of that the glass tends to crack. In this particular simulator that I'm using for this demonstration, the glass is cracked, so I will try and take it apart very, very carefully. As you can see, there's always some dripping that takes place when you remove the simulator from the jar. Uh, in this particular case, the simulator is an old one, it has a little bit of corrosion, the rubber ring is worn, and the glass jar itself is cracked. I'm going to take the jar out and dump it, and be right back.